do 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 the latest from our free daily newsletter at podnews.net Baby Shark has launched exclusive shows on Apple Podcasts. Ooh, good. Owners Pink Fong have launched a set of shows in English and Korean. It's the latest exclusive premium content on Apple's platform to do, to do, to do. Elsewhere in kids' podcasts, APM's kids and family shows are now available on the Yoto Player, a screen-free player for kids. And expect results of a kids' podcast survey with consumption details and ad effectiveness from Kids Listen in a few hours. Vanity URLs are the best way to get attribution for advertising in your podcast, right? Well, not according to new research published this morning from Bambi and Oxford Road. It's time to toss vanity URLs onto the bonfire, says Oxford Road CEO Dan Granger, preferring a how-did-you-hear-about-us method which asks listeners rather than them having to remember a URL. The data suggests it's more than seven times more successful capturing podcast attribution this way. You can expect more details later today at Oxford Road's website. Podcast app Podcast Guru appears to now support live episodes in its new beta release. Philadelphia isn't just home to Libsyn, it's also the home to a new podcast booth that could be Philadelphia's most visible podcasting studio if you want that sort of thing. You can find it at the Bauer Cafe on 1213 Walnut Street. You can now work up a sweat listening to Joe Rogan. Spotify has integrated playback in the Strava app. Meanwhile, Spotify's megaphone had a playback fault overnight. It's all fixed now, though. Neiman Lab reports why news outlets are putting their podcasts on YouTube, focusing on ESPN, Slate and NPR. Slate appears to be using Headliner, according to the article. The Quill Podcast Awards have officially opened for nominations. The Digital Awards are a yearly initiative that Quill runs to celebrate the achievements of podcasters and podcast companies. And yes, you can nominate yourself too. We mentioned the Hacker News Recap yesterday, a fully AI-produced podcast from the latest Hacker News stories. Well, it looks like we're out of a job as well, with a podcast made from our newsletter. Here's what that sounds like. Welcome to Pod News, your go-to source for daily updates on everything podcasting and on demand. Don't forget to subscribe to the Pod News newsletter. I think we prefer this podcast. And Transistor has added a new podcast website theme called cardboard which looks very cool you'll find a link for that in our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net and in podcast news now listen carefully 007 from history hit patented history of inventions this month is focusing on bond james bond it's the 70th anniversary of the franchise and for the next month the podcast is looking at the inventions and gadgets made for the bond films do try to bring them back in one piece Podcast Bestie, the podcast, interviews Devin Andrade from Tink Media about podcast marketing and how to grow any show. iHeart and School of Humans are celebrating Earth Month with the launch of Bad Seeds today, focusing on the black market of plants. Model, sustainability activist and plant influencer, Summer Rain Oaks, tells us why rare plants are at the centre of a rapidly growing and lucrative world of crime. Have a Nice Future is a new podcast launched today by Wired magazine. The weekly show will feature conversations with the top technologists, thinkers and creators who are shaping the future. It's hosted by global editorial director Gideon Litchfield and senior writer Lauren Good, who will ask, is this the future we want? And if not, where do we go from here? Long Shadow is back for a new season after winning a Signal Award. This time, the show examines the decades-long rise of the far right and connects the dots between various acts of extremist activity. It's from Long Lead and Campside. And Slate's Decoder Ring podcast is back for a new season with a brand new collection of cultural mysteries that will send you down the rabbit hole. The first show promises just one more thing, exploring the story behind a bizarre anecdote from Colombo star Peter Falk, who claimed that he was asked by the Romanian ambassador and the US State Department to record a message to quell an uprising from the Romanian people who were convinced their communist government was refusing to air additional episodes of Colombo. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net. 